everybody and welcome back to another video of mine. Um, I hope my voice doesn't get too annoying but today I'm showing you guys how I make jeans on Roblox. It has been highly requested on all of my platforms so hopefully this tutorial serves you good and I hope you understand how to make it better. Um, the website I'll be using today is Pixlr. All of my tutorials will be through Pixlr and this is Pixlr X and not E, so make sure that you have the tools on this side and you have your layers on this side. It's just easier to understand and navigate exactly where all of these are. So I'm going to explain all of these tools and stuff to you guys, but for making jeans, it's super simple, super fast, and I promise if you practice, you will get and learn, you will, you will learn how to use it fast. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so before you do anything, make sure you have your template loaded out and as a PNG. Um, if you need a tutorial on how I got my template, this is a custom made. I'll make a tutorial on how to make this next time. But for now, you can use a regular template. Um, I have a tutorial on how to use it in my previous video. I will link it in my description below. But make sure you have this template. It has to be 585 by 559 in dimension so that's how you know it works and you have to make sure of course the PNG and you could tell by the little boxes in the back so yeah let's begin so the first thing you're going to want to do is open a new tab and search blue jeans or whatever color you want to do I think I'm just going to search jeans um, so let it load then you're going to open images so Right away, I see some that I really like, like I really like these. You want to make sure that it is like a flat picture of the jeans so it's easy and, and to screenshot and put back on your template. So this is a perfect example, like the background is white, I could easily mask it, I could easily use the screenshot. So to screenshot on a MacBook Air, you're just want to gonna do Command Shift 4 and you're just going to screenshot like this. Make it like a little like a rectangle thing and do it all the way up to like the, the crotch area right here where, where it ends and let go. Now it should be saved to your desktop and you will put it back on the template. Now you want to get the fabric color. So like I said, screenshot again. So you're going to do Command Shift 4. And you're going to screenshot like mm, about this. This is really good. Like that. It's good. So with that, you can just exit out the tab and you're back on your template. So on this side, there's layers. You're going to click the little plus button, images. And you're going to go on your desktop and you're going to search for where your screenshot is. So here you go. This is mine. Just open it. And this, is, this should pop up. So right off the bat, um, I make it a little bigger. And I click these scissors. These are like the mask. That's how you cut out the white part. Click the little scissors. Then you're going to click magic mask right here. And you're going to click the white part, like that, it should disappear. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the select tool right here. And I'm going to take out like the parts I don't need. Like for example, you want to make it so the top part is flat, right? Because you don't want like all this extra fabric you don't need. And you're just going to delete it. Click the backspace button and delete that. And on the sides, actually we're going to take the sides for later. But we're going to make it a little smaller to fit. Just make it on the side, just a little smaller. Um, let's make it just a little bigger. And over here, we have background layer. You want to put the background layer on top. So you're just going to click the little three dots here, click unlock, and then drag it up. And then lock it again. So this is on the bottom. So we're just going to make it so it fits perfectly. Like this is really good. And you see on the sides how like it's sticking out, looks kind of gross. Do the select tool, stretch it, and delete. Stretch it, and delete. Make sure you're on the jean layer, by the way. And then to make sure, like, to click out of the select box, you just click outside of the select box like this. So there you go, you have your jean. Now, the rest is very easy. You're gonna go back, click the plus, image. Then you're going to go to the fabric that you screenshot, so it's right here for me. Open it, and you're just going to twist it like this, because we want it to cover the back. So I just open it like that, make sure it's nice and even, do the same thing as I said before. Dot, unlock, drag it on top, and lock it. 
Now you want to drag your little like this layer on top of this. So look at that. <laughs> so you're going to zoom in a little and just make sure like they're kind of aligned like that. And you're going to click this layer, the one that we just made, and then you're going to click up here, duplicate, duplicate, and drag it over here. It's like the bottom torso area. Then click it again, duplicate, and then just do it on the other side. And of course, if you need a tutorial on how to use this template, please feel free to watch my recent video because I explained thoroughly like how it works. So here you go. You have your lovely jean, just like the top. Now for the bottom, it's the exact same method. So I'm going to click, click this layer. It doesn't matter if I click this but here. I'm going to click duplicate, drag it all the way here, make it like a rotation. It's like this little bulb right here is what you click to rotate, by the way. Make it about like, like straight, make it a little bigger, like this. Like that, that's good. Then you're going to continue duplicating it for the entire bottom portion. Like so. Here, I'll zoom in to make sure they're all like, yeah, make sure they're nice and lined up. Just continue doing that for the entire side. Um, or actually, you could just uh, merge all these layers. So I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about. Go to this layer, and just let's find it. Um, okay, so you could just take all three layers of these and merge them. So you're gonna click this little button right here, then you're gonna merge it down, and then you're gonna take that layer, and then you're gonna merge it down again. So you have these all three combined, and that's easy. Just duplicate it and drag it to the other side, and that's it. You basically had your basic jeans, and of course, you can always add, you know, um, like rips on your jeans, or maybe some like a pattern, like a PNG, some chains. It's all up to you. But in this tutorial, I just wanted to go over the basics, so I hope I make sense whenever I explain things. And of course, if you want to save and export it, you're gonna to go to File, Save, and type whatever you want it to be, and then click Download, and that's it. So. Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how it looks on a mannequin and of course if you want to make shoes and stuff or you want to add shoes you can always ask people to make them for you because personally I have no idea how to make them. But yeah, you can always join my discord to find shoes and templates and all these cool things to help you. So yeah.